स्टार्ट हर्ड लर्नेड सीनियर काउंसिल श्री ताड़ेकर फॉर द पिटिशनर लर्नेड एजीपी फॉर द रिस्पोंडेंट स्टेट एंड लर्नेड एडवोकेट जनरल फॉर रिस्पोंडेंट नंबर टू बाय टू ऑर्डर नोटिस डेटेड सेवन सप्टेंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एंड नाइनटीन ऑक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इश्यूड बाय द लैंड एंड स्टेट मैनेजर एंड डेप्यूटी मेट्रोपोलिटन कमिश्नर द पिटिशनर वॉज आस्क टू पे एरियर्स ऑफ रेंट एंड दे वेयर इन्फॉर्म ऑफ रिजम्शन ऑर्डर इन केस ऑफ नॉन कम्प्लायंस दीज ऑर्डर आर चैलेंज बाय द पिटिशनर वेयर एज ड्यूरिंग पेन्डेंसी ऑफ दिस पिटिशन मेट्रोपोलिटन कमिश्नर एज पर द ऑर्डर डेटेड सेवन सप्टेंबर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी रिफ्यूज टू रिव्यू द अर्लियर ऑर्डर ऑफ रिजम्शन सो अल्सो द बैंक गैरंटी वॉज इन कैश हेन्स बाय वे ऑफ अमेंडमेंट ऑफ दिस पिटिशन the petitioner has also challenged those actions the respondent have appeared and they have taken objection to maintainability of this writ petition apart from denial of the allegation according to them remedy of filing writ petition as resorted is not permissible by law the respondent have justified all action taken by them before going into the issue of maintainability objection and other merit it will be useful to consider few fact which are relevant they are as follows the mmrda has invited e tender for food court and allied uses of the premises situated in urban plaza building at bandra kurla complex the bandra kurla complex is developed as finance and business district center and there was need of starting restaurant and eating places the tender of the petitioner was accepted and list deed dated 7th january 2016 was executed in between the parties the essential terms of that list deed are as follows the duration of sale deed was for 10 years the area of lease premises was 25 square meters monthly rent was rupees 13 lakh 51000 with 5% increase every year the respondent have paid rupees 1 crore towards premium and also furnish bank guarantee to the tune of rupees 1 crore 25 lakh 82000 there is provision of re entering the premises by the respondent in case of rent being not paid within 30 days or in case of other contingency referred in clause number 6 on perusal of the pleading by both side it reveal that there was dispute in between the parties on account of various reason including not paying rent in time non registration of lease deed not obtaining fire licenses carrying out alteration in lease premises not carrying out repair to the lift from an agency and so on both the parties have relied upon various correspondence depicting allegation and counter allegation the report further reveal that the deputy metropolitan commissioner has passed an order dated 28 november 2018 thereby asking the lease petitioner to vacate demised premises within 7 days from the date of the order this order was passed in exercise of power under clause 6 of the lease deed para the correctness of said order was subject matter of challenge in earlier writ petition number 172 of 2018 learned single judge granted liberty to the petitioner to withdraw that petition and adopt appropriate proceeding in law the trust of argument of learned advocate general is not resorting appropriate remedy as per the said liberty and instead filed this writ petition that is why he strongly oppose maintainability of present writ petition furthermore according to learned advocate general considering the nature of present dispute based on contract he has also challenged further reveal that the deputy metropolitan commissioner has passed an order dated 28 november 2018 thereby asking the lease petitioner to vacate demised demised premises within 7 days from the date of the order this order was passed in exercise of power under clause 6 of the lease deed
द करेक्टनेस ऑफ द सेड ऑर्डर वॉज सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ चैलेंज इन अर्लियर रिट पिटिशन नंबर फोर्टी वन ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एटीन लर्नेट सिंगल जज ग्रांटेड लिबर्टी टू द पिटिशनर टू विदड्रॉ दैट पिटिशन एंड एडोप्ट एप्रोप्रिएट प्रोसीडिंग इन लॉ द ट्रस्ट ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ लर्नेड एडवोकेट जनरल इज नॉट रिजोर्टिंग एप्रोप्रिएट रेमेडी एज पर द सेड लिबर्टी एंड इंस्टेड फाइल्ड दिज रिट पिटिशन that is why he strongly oppose maintainability of present writ petition furthermore according to learned advocate general considering the nature of present dispute based on contract he has also challenged exercise of equity jurisdiction under article 226 of the constitution of india according to him there is a serious disputed question of fact involved and which cannot be gone into by writ court hence he also requested this court not to exercise the equity jurisdiction stop